What is up everyone? Welcome back to another vlog. I'm gonna vlog my weekend. It's actually Thursday right now around 7 a.m. and I just got ready, put a little bit of makeup on, heading out with my boyfriend and my best friend and we're gonna go skiing slash snowboarding. I ski in these snowboards so we're going to Hunter Mount in New York. I've been absolutely loving these Columbia like thermal pieces. They have this fabric on the inside here and these have been great for the ski season. Also if you just want to wear something warm underneath. So I'm gonna throw this on. I think it's supposed to be in like the high 20s, so not too bad, but obviously that's still pretty cold, especially because in New Jersey here, it's been a little bit warmer lately. Yesterday it was 57 degrees, I think. I usually don't wear something under a thermal, but I don't wanna wear something really bulky today, and I feel like I'm gonna get warm on the mountains. I think it's supposed to be sunny. I'm wearing this Aritzia one underneath, so if I get hot, I can just remove one of these layers, and then I'm just gonna throw my ski jacket over it. Are you excited for some skiing and snowboarding? Yeah. I think it's gonna be fun. My friend's doing really good. She's landing out of snowboards. My boyfriend's just helping her out with that. I'm just all alone on the ski lift. I'm going on this green trail, and I love it because I just like the really easy stuff. Get some speed.
the next day now. It's Friday. I'm like throwing off. I feel like today's Saturday or Sunday. Really fun time yesterday skiing and snowboarding at Hunter Mountain. Today's been pretty chill. I've just been doing some work. I recently just started my own Etsy shop, digital art prints. So basically I'm just utilizing Canva Pro, creating pieces and selling them on Etsy. I'll have my Etsy shop linked down below. So far it's been going smooth. I haven't made any sales yet because I literally just started this a few days ago. But yeah, it's exciting. Starting a new little side hustle. Check out my Etsy shop to see the prints I'm making if you want to get some for yourself. Yeah, I'm just going to keep working on them. We just got some takeout from the pasta shop in Denville. <laughs> got orangini and we got it's the next morning now, Saturday, and we're setting up a TV. Last night we just got dinner at the pasta shop in Denville and we went to go dine in, but they were actually booked for the night, so we got takeout and just ate in the car. It was really good. If you're in the North Jersey area, definitely go to the pasta shop in Denville. It's so good. The pasta's handmade. Definitely recommend that restaurant. Yeah, we're gonna set up this TV now. My boyfriend decided to treat himself to a new TV for his room as like a little birthday present to himself. So this is the TV he got. He said he purchased it on Amazon. Tell us about the TV. Looks pretty good so far. How much did you spend on it? It was a thousand dollars. This is last year's model. Well, it looks pretty good. Right when I was going downstairs to have my lunch, I realized I just sold my first Etsy order, so I was really excited about that. So I'm gonna start getting ready. I'm actually going out tonight. I'm just gonna take a walk around the block, and I'll probably get like a picture while we're doing that. Because by the time I go to Hoboken later, it's gonna be dark out. I usually like to get my Instagram pictures during the daylight. I'm just using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I've been using this for a while now. If you've seen some of my other videos where I show my makeup routine, I use the shade 120. Dewy Smooth and then the 110 Matte and Poreless and I just mix it together. My skin is a little bit drier right now because it's the winter season. I'm going out to dinner tonight. Let's go to a place in Hoboken. It's called Olivia's. I've never been to it before so I will report on how that is and I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited that I got my first Etsy sale. I'm just in a really good mood right now. For concealer, I just like to use the Maybelline Family Concealer. I use the shades 10 and 5 and the 10 is a little bit darker, so I use more of that. And then the five, I'll just use to highlight a little bit under my eyes and on the bridge of my nose. Using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder, the shade 110 Porcelain, I just like to use this to set my eyelids to the crease area so that my concealer doesn't crease throughout the day. With the Hoola bronzer, this is my OG. I've been using this for many years now. Kind of warm up my entire face. I put it all over my cheekbones, forehead, and then I also use it to contour my nose a little bit. I also use it as an eyeshadow, actually. I like to use this LA Cosmetics eyeshadow single in the shade Lumen as like a highlighter. So I really only put this on my nose and then I'll put a little bit on my cheekbones sometimes. My brow bone. I feel like it just gives a nice subtle glow. I still use the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim in the shade Blonde. I feel like I still don't have the perfect eyebrow shade, but this is pretty good, I would say. I really just like to focus this on the inner part of my eyebrow because that's where it's the most sparse, and I'll just fill the rest of it very lightly. But I'm definitely putting most of this color on the front of my eyebrows, just a little bit on the tips here. I'm 
going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. This is just in the shade Black. It's just a really inexpensive liquid eyeliner that, I don't know, I always just keep using this one because it just is easy for me to apply with this type of brush. I'm gonna try a new mascara today. I was looking up recently like best drugstore mascaras and typically I've been using the Maybelline Lash Stiletto for a while now, but I'm gonna try something different. This is the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift in the shade Ultra Noir. Now I'm gonna take my mascara and try this out for the first time. I would say this is very good for volumizing. It definitely goes on thick. I think the other one is a lighter application. This looks a little heavier, but it looks good, especially for I feel like a nighttime look. I think it clumps like a tiny bit, but barely. And the last thing I'm gonna do is just use the Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Liner in the shade Dusty Rose 130. I just repurchased this because I ran out of my other one. So this is a brush one, and I feel like this comes pretty close to my natural lip color. And I just like to slightly overline it and crazy. I would just say this is a little bit more pink than my natural lip color, but other than that, it's pretty close. And that's basically it. I'm just gonna put a little like lip balm on. Mm -hmm. 